Welcome back to the Div 12 Resi's Waddle Park season. I really appreciate all the support on the first two episodes. It came to my attention that 59% of the audience who have been enjoying the Waddle Park vlogs haven't subscribed. We are slowly but surely getting closer to the 100,000 subscriber mark. So if you are enjoying this series and you're enjoying the vlog, please hit the subscribe button. We kicked off the week with a traditional carb load down at the riser. Checkers made this rule, which now that we've lost, I'm not a fan of. Uh, every time we lose after a carb load, uh, we have to change pubs. Um, it's going to be hard because the riser is such a great place, but a few different roles in place this week. Drewsy is now the head of Chalky Milk, I think. Hoping so. I'm obviously coaching. Caden's captaining. We do need to to apply someone to be the head of the, the carb load. So if someone needs to step up this week and sort of say, I'm taking reins of the carb load and I'll be organizing the location at times. Um, obvious choice, Will Taylor. Been through a few carb loads. Traders want to be a smash down on our Friday night. We've just tugged into a delicious Palmer, Palmy, the Rising Sun, big garlic bread, some wedges, and other bits of pieces. But I'm all about the pros tonight. The pros are going to win tonight, and then I'm going to pick a few goals tomorrow, and there's going to be a really good weekend. Saturday morning arrived, and we were super excited to get down there. We were playing in Burwood, but not at our home ground. So obviously, we play our home games at Deakin University in Burwood, but we're playing just around the corner. I think it was St. Mary's second oval because their oval was busy this week. But we got down there nice and early and the boys were pumped to have footy back for their Saturday morning. Ah, oh. <laughs> playing your own tunes on the way to the game, mate. Well, there's a reason for that. Ah, oh. um, yeah, stitch up. So Checkers says he wants to revolutionise thirds football and so he wants me to sing back pocket plugger in front of the group before we go up and play, which is... You know, that, that's that's like a punishment for some people having to go up and sing in front of others. It's going to galvanise the boys, for it sure. Will. It'll unite the boys. I don't know if the boys know what's happening. And I don't I don't know if they fully grasp the concept of Marmalade and us. So, um, you know, it might split the playing group in half, but that's okay. We're here to be divisive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, we're, hold up. Roddy can't drive. He's no good. <laughs> hey, I can Hi, Roddy. How are we? Bosh. Rod. Oh, guess who's in? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was trying to sprint before the game, but he just couldn't pull up properly, like outside of uh, the house. So still as bruised now as what it was before. I'm starting to think I've lost function of my ass forever, which isn't good for the extracurricular activities. I'm gonna play for you, mate. I know you will. I know you will. And you, I'm moving the magnet, so you know your magnet is not coming off. The efficiency art, maybe a few more inside 50 is a bit more damaging kicks, I think, today. Probably lacked that last week. Run them off the pitch, mate. So you got it. Confidence. When they said small ground, I thought maybe like a little bit smaller. This is crazy. The pockets are very shallow. I don't think the oh, length I, is... I won't be able to do my craft. So everyone's going to be running over the top of each other today, which sucks. You kicked two goals last week. You're going to back that up in round two. Uh, round three. I'll double it. 200 plus ranking points last week. Oh, I think you took 200 plus podcast. <laughs> are you 200 plus? No, nowhere near it. Well, um, More like 192. Maybe 193 on a good day. If you put yourself, how I slept. if you put yourself in your super coach team oh, last week, you would have been pretty happy, right? Two hundred yeah. as a ruckman, goal, tour. Yeah. I had um, I had Nick Martin as my captain last night in, in fantasy, and he only scored one hundred and six. So, got to get those numbers up, Nick. Interesting ground, Drew. It, it's on a slant. I don't know if that's seen on TV, but um, it's on a slight slant from right to left. So. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to deal with that, but we'll be right. If you we'll kick right. downhill in the first quarter, you could get the momentum. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Kick with the uh, kick with the angle. You are late. I um, I had my laundry. I had to go do my laundry. We don't have a laundry machine at home yet. So I've had to go and do the laundry at an external laundry mat. And that's delayed my presence. You get in there. Go get in there. Yeah, it was concerning when the opposition were warming up for 50 minutes before the bounce. Genuinely, like there was about an hour before the game, the St. Mary's team was doing like full drills. Geez, they were taking it serious. I had major concern. Um, the lackadaisical attitude of our team as I came into the uh, into uh, Burwood Oval, um, it was quite concerning, quite distressing. I remember looking at it though and looking at our boys just wandering around doing their own thing. Will Taylor was out doing a key test on the cricket pitch 
And I was like, I'm not, I'm not mad about this. I know the ones like to warm up early, but in, in the Div 12 res, he's like, this is a good warm up. How's the difference in the old preparation dots? Look, if I was a betting man, I'd be backing them in to win by 10 goals, because like literally they're up and about, which I respect. Um, but that's just not how we go about it. We're in the thirds. We are having snitters last night, a couple of bevvies. Look at the state of us. I feel like they might be a little bit nimbler than us coming out due to this half an hour long training session, but I feel like um, they're going to be gassed by the end of the first. Because <laughs> they're giving it a red hot crack. The new recruit, Hi, mate. Vinny Briganti. He's brought the guitar. How are you? I'm well, You're brother. Right. I'm well. Hello, Cardi. Get in there, son. Get ready. Um, I think you're going to Roger to fill out. Make sure you guys can fully run out. Everyone's going to make sure they give him your number. I don't know if anyone's heard about the Van B connection. <laughs> no, they haven't. They haven't heard about the Van B connection. I don't want to. I don't want to hear about it. I've, been, I've been listened to this guy do some heinous things. You know what that does to your brain? It just gives you 10 chem. Ready? We've got to say a number on 3, 2, 1, 10 chem? 3, 2, 1, 4. 16. See? That chemistry's fucked. So, we've been living together. And we're going to say a food item. 3, 2, 1, banana. Macaroni. See? It's, it, it, the chemistry's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's like Philly and Chunks. And, uh, it's like Z Wade and LeBron. It's like... Derek Ugly, Egg Messi Smith and Josh DeLuca. It's, you know, like, it's, it's like Hillary Duff <laughs> and Martha Stewart. Um, and yeah. We want to be good blokes, we want to be fair, we want to win. And we did all those three things. So this week, some, nothing changes. We go out there willing to come off and say, play Water Park's an absolute treat. We could be doing a big rev up, but Kane brought his guitar, so yeah! <laughs> Now Checkers during the week hit me up and said, I think we need to revolutionise the pre-game rev up. I said, what do you think and check? He goes, I want you to acoustically play on the guitar, back pocket plugger. The first week we played, we obviously won great content, get an easy dub, get everyone kicks goal, gets a touch. Fantastic. We're riding the high. How good's footy? Footy's amazing. But it wasn't like funny enough. Throughout the week, I thought back pocket plugger was going to be a great rendition. And we played after the game. All week, I did, didn't did really think that that was the best way to go about um, our pre-game. When that tune comes on, there's no way I'm not joining the choir. He's hitting out midweek and said, let's change it up before the game. No, we don't lose. This is an ode to the seconds of the before. If you capture the lyrics, join in. You'll find him at the bar On a Friday night Got a game tomorrow Just let me run inside He's a back pocket plugger A back pocket plugger A back pocket plugger Yeah, where have you been? Mate, the traffic was absolutely feral. Oh, oh it's good to see you again, mate. Always got got there you. about halfway through the song, but I didn't want to walk in and interrupt. So we come out really hard and hot this quarter. Physical pressure, we'll get over them. All right, come on, boys. Have fun today. Yes? Come yeah. on, boys. That's it there. That's a master plan. See that? That's the day. Some people call that a whiteboard. I call that a premiership. Come out of the change room. Back pocket plug is just played. Spine tingling stuff. But when you see a first gamer come into the team and get that first really exciting clearance, all I thought was we are on. I get to grab 15 out. I was like, wow, how good's coaching? It's so easy. This is a master stroke. I'm the greatest coach ever. Mick Malthouse, move aside. Uh, Dennis Pagan, move aside. This is how we play football in 2024. Baz had a tough go of it in defence. Um, he he was everywhere in defence in that first five minutes. The ball just kept following him. I just thought I'd do a couple of team things. I was spoiling balls. I was intercept marking, putting my head over it. They were they were hitting targets and their their forwards were taking some serious marks. Baz is out there in the goal square just fighting for his life. I'm not one to blame anyone, but Connor Rogers on the magnets. We didn't. We did not concede a goal for the first ten minutes of that game with me at fullback, back pocket. Takes me off after ten minutes. 
What happens? Coach, what are we seeing out there? Sorry, man. I actually, I've, this is the worst job of all time. I don't know what, I don't know how to do this. The inclusion of Vinny's great because it adds a little bit of an extra dimension to the team. He's probably the quickest bloke we've ever seen. We spoke about Roggie being out, but to find someone in Vinny Briganti was massive. Checkers looks like Max Gorn in the ruck at times. I think I said this last week, he is so physical. He just keeps getting knocked over, knocked over, bowled over. That was a pretty, that was a pretty standard uh, checkers snag. If, if ever you told me checkers kicked a snag and then had to explain it, I had to explain it to you. A dollar one, it's going to be he grabbed it out of the ruck and put it through the big stick. I don't know why they gave me so much room. They, were they watching the footage last week? <laughs> There's, um, we went back through it this morning and I uh, slowed it down a little bit. Their ruckman stood behind me, first mistake. And then all their midfielders stood about five metres away expecting me to spike it. Mate, it's inside 50. No one's going to spike this. This is going through the sticks. I didn't get near it in the first quarter, so I played midfield last week. This week, we chucked me in the forward line, at the half forward line. Um, I couldn't get near it in the first quarter, but... Uh, there was a bit of a, a contest at the half forward line. I ran up. I got a handball from Benny Kearns. I turned <laughs> really tight against the boundary line and I was surveying my options. And I found little Will Taylor leading to his favourite pocket. I've been working on my little tick leads and they've paid off They've paid off quite a bit. When I saw Dossie with the footy, thought I thought this could be a very, very tough kick. But you know in Angry Birds when you've got like, you can see where you're about to shoot shoot the bird? Dossie just had that arced beautifully and he had it arced just to my tits and it somehow split three defenders and found me so I was very happy with that. I'm looking at you know your Mason Cox's, your, your real high high performance set shots and Will Taylor's one of the most penetrating f uh, on the football that you've ever seen and every set shot you actually see him, he goes through the same routine, he does the same thing, he's very diligent in his set shot routine and that comes out because He's 100% accuracy, I think, for the year. Is that 100% accuracy for WT? Yes, please. This time of footy I've ever played. Right, one group, um, lads, one group. Bring sometimes in. it's... Um, when it rains, it pours in the forward line, though. But we're getting the supply, not quite capitalising. But I've had one touch to start the game, so... Um, and my man... Yeah, and my man around. So get up, get up and get the footy, McDonald. Okay, with the four, it's obviously a tiny ground. It's not really going to get out the back. It's not big enough to get out the back. So play in front all the well, time. What we're going to have to do, I was telling them, yeah, just kick it high. Yeah. I'm talking, we're not going to kick low. So the Maxi, Jacob, trying to think, maybe Caden, Tails. You're going to have to contest. You might not take a lot of grabs today. You might not get a lot of the ball in your hands, but you're going to get a lot of hand on the ball. So yeah, have the smalls like Caden and stuff going to be ready to crumb. The second quarter was when I felt the game starting to slip. A little bit. I think this is where the pre-game antics really started to, to follow us poorly uh, into this second quarter because uh, we didn't really want the body. I think they showed some some pressure and some some physical nature that we just didn't really want to match. I don't particularly remember too much about the second quarter, only because as a forward I don't think the ball came down once. But I do remember seeing just the same three blokes for St Mary's taking clunks inside 50 which, you know, as a forward, you wish to be doing that, but the ball wasn't coming past the halfway point. It was too much supply. Like, they had so many entries. Our midfield couldn't get anything going. Our forward line couldn't lock it in. So the weight of sheer numbers for our back line, the damn wall was going to burst at some point, and it felt like it started to happen in that second term. Now, obviously, Shrey, um, he got hip-tossed. <laughs> he, he was wandering through the stoppage. I don't think Shrey was going and giving him a bump, but regardless, the uh, the guy turned around, grabbed Shrey by the scruff of the neck and threw him to the ground. Now, I didn't see this. All I heard was this big thud, and I was seeing Shrey on the ground, and I was seriously concerned. Oh, referee! He might get dropped this week. I'm actually sick of it. Um, he's been whinging ever since about how none of his teammates supported him, and you can't support things like that. Remember when you were a kid and you played roly-poly down a hill? That, that was Shrey. No, they were not big knocks. <laughs> big knocks. Show Baz getting hit. 
That's a big knock. Show me getting plastered, getting lined up from 40 meters away. That's a big knock. I thought Shrey was booking a trip to the ICU, to be honest with you. The way he rolled, you see how he rolled on the ground? He took eight spins on the ground. He traveled around Zambia to get back to the game. It's got to be a free kick. There wasn't many free kicks paid during the game, but geez, that's a that's a free kick every day of the week. Sorry, Schrader. Hey, Doss, Doss, Doss. Yeah, Bailey copped one straight through the sternum. Um, Baz was a bit sore and sorry the following days after that incident. But, um, yeah, I, I said this out on the ground. Baz, Baz's chest sounded like an airbag went off. I've been on wobbly toes for the last three days, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get up for training. If you actually watch over the footage, I did a backwards somersault, um, which I thought was quite funny. Um, compare the pair. If we could clip up Shrey's rolling, Baz's hit. Baz gets back up, almost goes into the next contest. Trey, we're still waiting for him in the next quarter. He's in the same spot. He hasn't come to the huddle. Talk to me. What's going on out there? Yeah, two, two touches and a half. This will be a YouTube short. <laughs> They're tougher. Yeah. Fitter. Tall. It's a, it's a very seconds-looking third stage. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, they played well. Nice start from you. Yeah, it was good. Um, just wish we saw more of the ball down forward. I think we've got our got our tactics wrong, which I mean we can change now. But yeah, we've just got to be just got to be a smarter team. There's three certainties in life: death, taxes, and Will snagging one from the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was, um, that's what we should be looking for, a few, like, shorter kicks, um, to flick them out to, so. We gotta lift, we gotta lift to the intensity. They're bigger, faster, stronger, fitter. They're a very complete outfit. Um, they're cracking in. Not well, the scoreboard isn't looking pretty. Um, they're very, they're too big, too strong at the moment. Uh, going forward, they're just intersecting everything. But the problem is, if we go to grab a ball, we don't exactly have electric pace down there with Tails and Will and Stray. I know that I've said Tails and Will, but... <laughs> <laughs> They're funny the contest a lot. That's a small ground. So when we go for a rough contest, I'm looking around and there's three midfielders that I have, like 17 of them. And that's fine. But let's fight it back a little bit. So what we're going to do is put a couple of midfielder types around the half forward and the wings. And if we get contested on the half-back, I want you guys to mix in. Please. Whenever we're going forward, boys, we can't be standing side by side or behind because he gets too tall, right? So we, the only way we're going to beat them going forward as an option is if you're playing in front. So at least we can provide a contest and give it to the crummers, right? So if you're forward, be one kick away and be in front of your man. Yeah, they've been really contested and really hard, and um, like a lot of our boys have been cracking in, but Kurt's his effort on the wing there. If we get more boys cracking like that, we'll have a better second half. Hey, Benzie, are you going to give us our last word before we run out? What are we doing wrong? What are we doing right? What should we do better? Um, maybe just stay more consistent. Um, so, yeah, later. Take more marks in the forward line, probably. <laughs> um, kick more goals. Yeah, kick more goals, probably. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the Yeah, the third term is when the damn wall broke. And when it broke, it exploded. Um, it was raining goals for them. It was one of those games where you just start looking around going, I reckon there's better things I could do with my Saturday Arvo. You start looking around, the crowd's come out to see us play. People have given up their Saturday morning to help us out in the commentary, the, the umpires. So when it gets out to that 90, 100 point areas, <laughs> you're just crying inside. I reckon if you want to play thirds, and you want to field a thirds team, you need at least six blokes with mud guts. They were fit, they were firing, and they could all play the great game of Australian Rules Footy. Yeah, this was good from Jarrah. Uh, he, took the, he took the driver's seat. Uh, we didn't know why he was down forward, but... I was very thankful he went down forward. Playing down back, and obviously it's a tough day where you can't get loose, and he just comes up to me and goes, check as I'm going forward. Obviously, Roger's throwing magnets, and he's not doing a great job of it. He's self-admitted to this. He said, it's not my go, throwing magnets. So Jarrah's just throwing his own magnet up forward. He was his masterstroke himself. He coached himself into that mark. 
He could have um, waited for Rog to throw him onto the bench, but he said no. Jared Davis, magnet, forward. Jared Davis, Matthew Lloyd, Mark. He, he's, uh, he's a tactical genius. In the moment, I thought I took a specky. Upon reflection, I sort of just reached over his head. <laughs> yeah, Czech had a good battle in the ruck with their ruckman. Um, they both competed hard and had a pretty good day at the office, but um, he, he got a bit big for his boots and tried to go a bit of candy mode against the great Czech man. Their ruckman got stuck in me fairly early. He put a knee into me, gave me a little shove, and he said something along the lines of like YouTube sensation. And I was like, I'm pretty stoked with that, man. I haven't even hit 5K followers on YouTube. <laughs> It's good to know you're watching. It's like you could be watching Kados 38's channel, but you're watching mine. That's great. And he sort of had a little giggle. So maybe he rocked up that morning thinking he could get stuck into me. But we had a good laugh. Turns out he has been emailing me, wanting me to do videos for his workplace. So <laughs> there was a bit of history. There was a bit of history that I didn't know. So he knew who I was, and I only know his email. So after that, we became pretty friendly. It was a, it was a very funny battle. He'd taken about three big contested grabs up forward, and I reckon every goal he went to kick for, I said, if you kick this, I'll do the video for your workplace for free. Um, as he was running in, and he missed all of them. And so that one, I looked at him, I said, same deal goes. I'll give you the fourth time. You kick this, you get your free video. Me and Trey will come down and plug your workplace. And um, he looked at me in the eyes and smiled, and I knew he was going to do something funky. So, yeah, as he ran out to sell candy, I was like, I'll give you a little bit of leeway if you can get... Enough legs to get around me, go your hardest, but otherwise I'm going to have to lay a tackle. It's right in front of the stream. I couldn't look that bad on stream, could I? Trey, how are you feeling out there, brother? I'm right, I'm a bit sore. Can't get around it much. Uh, contest nah, the what footy. Can Next effort. Working around, like, let's, let's try and... A lot of work to be done. People will say that the game's over, but the game's not over until the fat lady sings. I ain't heard her yodeling yet. 80 points in a quarter, miracles were made to happen, rules were made to be broken. We're going to defeat the Matrix. We're going to come back and win the single greatest game in the history of this football club and possibly this sport. So I've been chilling going to the club. Like, how sick was it with the, you know, Dossie kicked a goal? How sick was it that Jacob Mitchell kicked two in the last? Right, so that's what we're for. Right? Forget the win, but forget it. Let's play for like, that story, all right? We're going to go to the club and have some beers. I tried to lift in the third, and by the start of the last, I put the cue in the rack. And I like to think if, if I'm playing FIFA and it's 4-1 in the 20th minute, I like to lock in and, and really graft and grind and try and get back. Um, I like to think I've got a competitive spirit in me, but I broke on Saturday morning. I don't think I left the centre square much in the last quarter because it was ruck tap, they win the clearance, they kick a goal, returns to the middle. Ruck tap, they win the clearance, kick a goal, returns to the middle. So I, I, if you had a GPS on me, I would have done about 20 metres of running. Jarrah went into the midfield, immediate impact. I think we need to let him roll up a little bit more because he's so good at the contest. We just need that user at times. I'll actually thank you for that because I was playing forward and then you just came up to me about five, six minutes in and said, do you want to play a little bit of mid? And I was like, oh, the game's lost. I was fiending for a little bit of physicality. The opportunity to play in the midfield, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll take it for the, the last quarter um, and just, just see how I go. Will you see me in there again? Um, maybe. It's a tough one. You know, if Jared Davis leaves the back line and goes into the midfield, we're sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul, but um, Paul's hungry, Paul's starving. So maybe that's a move we have to make. So I've taken a mark 35, 40 metres out. I have kicked the world's biggest wobbler of all time from 40 metres out. It's just got over the defender's hand, but six points is six points, as I've said before. It's really nice to take that home to the bank, but um, yeah, that's probably not one I'm going to be replaying. Baz did that. He's, he's a guru at doing this. Last week he had the chirp on the mark, and this week he kicked one of the worst goals I've ever seen, but he's back to back. He's, he's, he's a goal sneak. He's got it in his, in his veins. Mate, how did that go through? <laughs> Great last quarter from you, Jaro. A bit of fitness helps you in the off season, doesn't it? Yeah, no, you good. Hope you, you run out the games a little bit better. They're everywhere, taking kick-ins, kicking snags. No, I was just, just cutting my hands on the footy a little bit more. That's not good today. Happens. You know, takes the ball a bit too much on the pull your way. What can you do? What can you do? You guys all did it again. You played like great blokes. They were, they were pretty cool to play. The umpires were okay, but the, uh, the opponents were pretty cool. I don't think you had any scraps or anything, so... Look, another fun Saturday at the footy. We go to the club and have an even better night. So. Just, 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 just,
we probably leave the guitar till the end. <laughs> should have tossed the guitar to and seen better days, Pete Murray. Yeah, maybe half time as well. Yeah, maybe that's what we're missing. We should have done the guitar at all quarters. The next few games, the skill difference isn't as big, the gap in quality, but no, it was fun commentating in the second half actually. They haven't done that before, so maybe do that again. Hopefully, Menza did a good job wherever he is. There he is. Where is he? Menza. How'd you go today, mate? Good, I reckon we did pretty well. It was actually quite fun. I really enjoyed it. Nice. It was good, it was good, it was good. Yeah, roughest of days at the footy. Um, I'm sort of questioning if it's just completely inappropriate that the skipper, myself, checked out in the last quarter. I think it's understandable, but I'm also questioning my leadership that I just sort of put the kill in the rack. So that's something that I need to go to work on at training. Um, it's also deflating, like I haven't played in a game like that for a long, long time, but I used to play in games like that in junior footy. And it's like, footy's your favorite time of the week. And then that happens and you're like, what was the point? Um, oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> Joes, we'll, we'll be back, we'll be back. It's not about how hard you get down, it's about how hard to get down and get up. Yeah, something like that. Let's crack into this edit, mate. Um, it's gonna be real good fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're not putting this out, are we? <laughs> so there you have it, guys. We've lost by 133 points. Heartbreaking result. Frustrating. Um, I got home, and it took me two hours to get myself out of the funk that was the disappointment of that loss. So I hope we never feel that feeling again. But that's thirds footy. Thirds footy. Sometimes, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes the margins are that far apart in thirds footy. Um, so super excited to get back on the horse Cannot wait for next week um, I appreciate all the support I appreciate everyone tuning in And we'll see you all for some more Div 12 Resi's Waddle Park content Very very soon Cheers guys